When you can't make it to City Hall or the school board meetings, local journalists from BrainerdDispatch.com will be there to report the facts and get your questions answered. Local news works for you. Stay up to date at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good afternoon, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Tuesday, August 20th. I'm Teresa Burke with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. A 33-year-old Mora man pleaded guilty to third-degree murder in an Aiken County death and was sentenced to 20 years of probation. Stephen Boschniak entered an Alford plea in May, to one count of third-degree murder by selling or distributing a controlled substance. The plea came after his April jury trial resulted in a mistrial. An Alford plea allows for the sentencing of a defendant who maintains their innocence, but decides it is better to take a known sentence rather than their chances in a criminal trial. The charge stems from an overdose death of an unnamed male in June 2023 in Malmo Township, southeast of Aiken. Reporter Tim Speyer has all the case details in today's e-edition and at BrainerdDispatch.com. Electrical vehicle charging stations could come to downtown Brainerd. City council members agreed last night to allow Brainerd Public Utilities to apply for a grant that would fund five charging stations in the City Hall parking lot. The grant would come from Zeph Energy out of Minneapolis and cover up to $64,000 of the cost of the stations. BPU would cover the cost of installation and bringing the necessary electricity to the site. BPU commissioners want to promote downtown Brainerd by providing the charging stations to electrical vehicle owners. The cost for utilities, maintenance, and repair on the charging stations is not yet known, nor is the charging rate. Find out more on the issue in my story in today's Dispatch e-edition or online. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, This Was Brainerd, exploring the Dispatch archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. 100 years ago today, in 1924, the dispatch reported that Miss Eula Michael, city and school nurse, has received a letter from the state health department explaining several phases in the handling of black smallpox cases. There have been cases in the Deerwood area of our county and six cases in Morrison County. Vaccination and revaccination are strongly recommended. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's today's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Good morning. Today's forecast for the Brainerd Lakes region, a little patchy fog in the early morning, otherwise partly sunny, with a high in the upper 70s today, south wind around 5 miles an hour. Mostly cloudy tonight, a few areas of fog again, lows near 60. Tomorrow becoming mostly sunny with a high in the upper 70s, south winds around 5 to 15. Thursday will bring a slight chance of thunderstorms increasing in probability by Thursday night. I'm Storm Tracker meteorologist John Wheeler. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support, and thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day, and for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great day, and we'll catch you tomorrow.